to Second Wind Adventures, where we start the next chapter in our life, where retirement can be fun, exciting, and challenging. Follow along with us as we continue to transition from our regular full-time work life to a more flexible lifestyle that includes cottage living, adventure travel, and our dream to circumnavigate the globe on a sailing catamaran. This is us, Alina and Monty. We would love if you joined us so that we could share with you the trials of achieving our goals. While we wait for the completion of our yacht's ferry now, in this episode we take you along on one of our favorite winter pastimes, which is skiing in the western Rocky Mountains. As Canadians, we choose to embrace winter and participate in activities which make living in northern climes more bearable and even fun. As a family, we've been skiing for years with the kids since they were about five to seven years old. After they became proficient skiers, we began traveling to ski destinations in Western Canada to resorts along the famous Powder Highway, resorts such as Whistler Blackcomb, Sun Peaks, Fernie, and this week's destination, Big White. To get to Big White, we fly five hours from Toronto to Kelowna, British Columbia. We rent a car and we make the hour drive from Kelowna up to Big White. We chose to come to Big White as it is a large family-oriented ski destination with something for every level of skier. From the extensive groomed runs, tree skiing through the glades, and alpine bowl skiing at the top of the peaks. Big White has over 119 designated ski runs and a vertical drop of 777 meters or 2,330 feet with a summit elevation of 2,319 meters or 7,606 feet. Okay, we're uh, here at Big White at South Point where we've rented a sort of an Air Airbnb right by the gondola. A couple of shots of the unit. There's our rental car over there. Let's check it out. Go inside. Heated garage. Okay, let's just close the garage door. Powder room. This is a split level, so there's downstairs. And here's the main living area. And there's uh, hey. Admiral with her provisioning, putting away all the stuff we just uh, bought out to save on. But check out the view here, so nice. Right beside the village gondola. It's definitely ski in, ski out here. Happy Valley Day Lodge, I guess that's where the beginner's area is. And the gondola comes up right beside us. Alright. Gas fireplace, very nice. Kitchen, another entrance over here. I guess if we uh, want to come in this way, just leave it here. Nice Let's check it out downstairs. Okay, there's a queen bed right down the bottom of the stairs here. Another separate entrance. Oh, so there's two bedrooms right here. Queen. Downstairs entrance. Another 
bedroom with an uh, ensuite. Bathroom here, but I guess Devin's in there. And look at pool table. And this particular rec room has another TV and sleeping area and bar. So as you can see, there's um, ton sp ton of space in this place. I think we're going to have a total of five people once uh, Stephanie and Michael get here. And um, yeah, so got a lot of room, a lot of privacy. Great. Okay, right, let's go on left. We've never been disappointed with the quality and quantity of snow here as they have an annual snowfall of about 7.5 meters to 4.5 feet. But most importantly for us, Big White does not have the crowds, long lift lines and the costs of some of the larger resorts like Whistler Blackcomb. You're in a Big White throne, huh? Although the village center is fairly small, there are vendors for ski equipment rentals, equipment sales, restaurants, and other shops. Okay, so for you family types out there, still got little kids, or young at heart, or just want to go tubing and do some uh, back massage, <laughs> yeah. you can come here to the um, tubing area you can see it's over the there. kids adventure area yeah you can see over there you got the uh, the tube carpet taking all the folks and the tubes up to the top of the tube hill and then the back room we have the kitty uh, ski hill there you can see you can do dog sled very well organized for kids and people young at heart Okay, here's the crew. First tracks of the day. Ready to go. All right. Here we are. We're almost at the top. The top's actually up there. Just got off the lift. We spent four days skiing in a variety of conditions, including sunny, clear conditions, snowy conditions, and complete whiteout at the top of the mountain. Almost every evening it snowed to give us a fresh layer of snow for the next morning's first runs. Devin, our youngest, has become quite a good and adventurous skier, choosing to drop his old man and go off exploring the deep snow off trail between the trees. Stephanie sometimes decides to swap skis for a snowboard and as you can see conditions are ideal for snowboarding as well.
On the clearer days, you can't beat the view of the Rocky Mountains from some of these runs. Okay, halfway through the afternoon, day one, skiing. Check it out, nice conditions, very fast, hard pack. The crew's still surviving. All right, let's go do some shredding. this way okay we got a snow day and uh, I can't see anything through my goggles and so as you can see there's tons of snow we got about uh, four inches of new snow and I wish I had my powder skis but don't but uh, we're making our way from the main two lifts over there um, what's that chair called? Ridge? Ridge, Ridge Rider or whatever. Powder. And Powder Chair. And now we're on the Falcon Chair. Now we're working our way over the Gem Lake. Hopefully we'll be able to see something at the top. But as you can see, the visibility isn't too good. Everything's kind of white. <laughs> so, but it's uh, very scenic. If it was a blue, bi bl blue bird day, uh, it'd be really nice. So we'll see what... It don't matter. All right, two hot chocolates and two uh, beaver tails coming, right? Yeah. So here's something that's becoming a Canadian tradition. Having beaver tails when you're taking a break along with your hot chocolate. So here I am, I cut out the audio because of the copyright music that's in the background, but I'm just trying to rationalize consuming about a thousand calories. You know, after all, I've been skiing all day and burning it. Isn't this the best part of the day? Yes, sir. Yeah. How's the hot tub? Warm. Yes, yeah, nice. Look, we're, we're outside. Yeah. How come you guys don't have beers in your hand? What's up? How come you guys don't have beers in your hand? Anyway, enjoy the top. Say thanks, Victor. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> okay, check him out. Oh, my birthday today just finished a bottle of sake and dinner and now we're here at the kitty park we're gonna go tubing and since we're here at the last minute we've got half an hour before it closes they gave me a seniors discount <laughs> I got 20 bucks off oh. <laughs> so let's go let's go Okay. <laughs> Send us away. Okay. Hey, we, we all boom? Yep. Okay. Three. Whoa!
Okay, heading out now. We're going home. Last day in in BC, and we're just leaving Big White Resort. As you can see, there's it's a, the, we came and we left on the Bluebird Day, and it's now uh, very nice. Don't know how much snow they got last night, but it looks like they got a sprinkling. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been great. Right onto Happy Valley Road. It's been a great trip. As we conclude our winter adventure getaway, stay tuned for our upcoming episode where we provide a built update from the Kinetic Boatyard on the progress of Sverna and some of the design tweaks we decided to make. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.